Hi everyone, so previously we saw the integrated loop structures. So today we are going to see the switch case. Switch case is just a replacement of if else if else if condition. Um, the only disadvantage of switch case is that you can't compare two arguments here. Like in if condition we used to compare two arguments like if a is greater than b or something. So you can't do the same thing in the switch case. So today we are going to make a program uh, using the switch condition which will take uh, two numbers from the user so and in the switch case we are going to define four cases for addition subtraction multiplication and division so let's get started so hash include stdio.h main so I'm going to define int a comma b and again comma d and one float variable let it be d and this be c now I'm going to do is printf take two numbers from the user so enter any two numbers and now I'm going to store them in A and B so scan F person D person D and A and B Now, after that, I will determine, I will give here the switch statements in front of the user to choose which uh, operation he wants to do. If he wants to do addition, so he will choose 1. If he wants to do subtraction, he will choose 2. If he wants to do multiplication, he will choose 3. If he wants to make a division operation, so he will have to choose 4. So that's how I'm going to write is like printf backslash of n one for add subtract three four multiply and four for divide so these are the four operations I have determined now the user will choose the number one for addition second for so I'm going to store that in C so scan F person D comma and C now from here I'm going to define a switch case so this is how we have defined so we simply write switch now I'm going to pass the number C which is stored in C so switch C curly braces now in switch case we have multiple cases and the cases are depend on the numbers so case 1 so how case 1 will work I mean if the user enter 1 so it will execute case 1 if the user enter 2 so it will execute case 2 so this goes on like that so case 1 printf you choose to add again here backslash of n now here I'm going to define like D equals to A plus B and then printf like person D is 
the Finley is the addition of person D and person D. So comma D comma A comma B. So this will execute that that thing. And now to come out of that switch case we used to have a break statement. So we will put a break statement here. So what if we don't put a break statement? If we don't put a break statement, it will go through all the cases and execute all the operations in those cases. So, so as to break from one operation, like if you are, if you just want to access case one operation, so you need to break it after executing it. So now break, and then again we will have to make a case two. So I'm just gonna copy this and edit some stuff here okay till break so copy and here i will do is paste so now i will here just make minor changes case 2 you choose so on case 2 we are making is of subtraction so you choose to subtract and d will be becoming now a minus b and also here we have to mean that person D is the subtraction of person D and person D. So this is case two and that again break. Then again here we are doing case three. Case three will be of multiplication. So you choose to multiply. So now D will be becoming A into B. Now this will become multiplication. Okay, so now after case 3, we are making case 4. Case 4 is of division, so you choose to divide. So now, during division, uh, remember in the first video I told you that we need to have a floating variable. So since A and B are not floating variable, we have to make them as float. So this is how we make float FL. So this will be a by b again float b so now we first initialized we have to make it like wait we'll make it here as e m comma d over here so this is the minor changes we need to do again so E equals to float of A and float of B. Okay. Now since E is a float, we need to have percent F over here. Now percent F and we also percent F and percent F. So these are the four cases we made using the switch case. So let's execute I'm going to enter two numbers those are 15 10 and first of all I'm going to do is addition so I will make us first so now just click on run now okay it throw me an error because it was typing error it should be stdio.h again same run 15 10 and 1 so you can just see now enter any two numbers now I enter two numbers now you choose to add and 25 is the addition of 15 and 10 so it's going I have to do a backslash of an over here also in all the 
so backslash of n backslash of n again here backslash of n and here backslash of n so now let's execute now the second switch case so 15 10 and 2 done running it now you can see I choose 2 to subtract so you choose to subtract and 5 is the subtraction of 15 and 10 ok I guess it's not giving me 4 ok here was some a mistake we did we didn't type backslash of n so now let's go and let's run like again 15 then now third operation done run so here's the thing you choose to multiply now 15 into 10 is 150 is the multiplication of 15 and 10 and then again we will do is take two numbers input now this is the fourth case so 15, 10 and 4. Now let's run it. It's running it. And now you choose to divide and it gave me a 0, 0. Now why it gave me 0, 0 is let's see. Of D comma. Okay. We have to make here as E. Again let's run that. 15, 10 and 4 done so you can just see that 1.5 is the addition of now the reason why I did their percent up was to let you know that person we have to make their percent D because originally it is an integer and we are changing it to a floating variable for a temporary purpose so when you choose make it, when you make it as float it will contain a garbage value because originally it was defined as an integer value so we have to make here as person D. Now once again we will execute the same thing 15, 10 and 4th statement. Now let's run it and now you can see that 1.5 is the division of 15 and 10. Now it gave me 15 and 10 because I made person D. So when if you were making a float if you are making something uh, which and variable which is an integer first of all and then you are converting it to a floating variable so you can't make it completely a floating variable you are just making it for a temporary purpose for that particular operation so that is the reason when I do it give percent f it throw me a something a garbage value but when I do now here percent d though we have initialized it as integer but for a temporary purpose I converted it to a float variable so this is how the switch case works now we have done all those four switch cases add subtract and so this is how the switch case works it's just a rep replacement of if else if else condition so thank you guys for watching it